Well, we're heading to the workshop, a rare outside view of Marky Mark's workshop. As soon as I make it through the gate here, we'll get somewhere. The shop's relatively new, so we got a little landscaping to do, such as a this is the walkway down, which is a little treacherous. So, welcome to the workshop with Marky Mark. And there we have it. It's looking more familiar now, isn't it? some more gluing on the cabinets. There's the medicine chest that goes over the sink. I've got two pieces of face uh, frame to glue on one side and then I'll have to wait for that to dry. Uh, maybe think about start making the doors for that. And the bigger one which we just glued up the four sides yesterday. I'll try and uh, attach the back panel to. And there's an edge that is higher so I gotta deal with that and there's the back sitting over there that will attach and some face framings that we made up yesterday that will cut and glue on there so let's have at it uh. This little Stanley trim plane is just so cool. So after I put in a fresh memory card, this is what we wound up with. The uh, side uh, face frame pieces are on and I'll probably put one down the middle since we'll, uh, I assume, have two doors and that'll be the next step with that one. However, we're going back up here to the workbench and figure out our dilemma here. I gotta fix this little problem where that's a little high. But only on this end, not at the other end. The plane would probably do it for me, but I'm thinking the table saw might be better. Uh, the only problem with that is all the boards are parallel. So the plane can fix that problem for me and take it down to the measurement I'm gonna wind up with. That's the way I'm going to do it, using the table saw.
Well, as it turns out, the table saw didn't work out, but I just used a plane and got it to where I want it to be. And I've got another one to do. Let me flip it over here. So there's the other corner I need to plane down, get even with the other side. So let me see if I can set the camera down here and have it cooperate while I show you what I'm going to do. Our tripod broke. I got to dig out the other one. There we go. So I'm just laying a flat edge from side to side so I can mark a guideline where I need to plane off. The table saw would have worked if I had a very long taper jig. I had a small one, I never used it, I get rid of it. But I tell you what, uh, the older I get, the more I appreciate hand tools and the time it would have taken me to make up uh, a taper jig, I will have this all done. So, I'm going to move the camera and we'll be back at it. particular planes for sale, by the way, if you're interested. I'm going to get this better secured in the device here. plane's been cleaned up, tuned up, flattened, blade sharpened, had a couple of uh, broken parts and or missing parts replaced and it's uh, now producing perfect shavings. Nothing like an old stand. It looks pretty good. So you got a demonstration of the Stanley. It's number five, Jack Plane, general all purpose, uh, mid size type plane. So let's do some measuring and see where we're at. I started out with nine inches. I've got eight and a half, eight and a half, eight and a half, eight and a half. Okay, that's good. That means all my sides are the same size. They're parallel, which is what I was after. So we can proceed to the next step, which is putting on the back so we can get it square. So this isn't notched out. I may come back and do that Let's see what I have here. If it's big enough, I'll just glue it and tack it. And it looks big enough. So I'm just going to glue it and tack it. Let's square it up. So what we'll do is just clamp uh, a square to it. Got some better clamping surfaces on this. There we go. Flip it over and start working on our face frame. So, what we're going to do next is take our birch strips we made up and attach a couple of them to either side. I don't know if I'll have 
enough clamps to do too much more. We'll see how it goes. So let's figure out the least amount of waste, which isn't going to happen in this case. That might work. Let's see what we got here. That'll work fine. Okay, we got those, so let's see if we can find enough clamps to put them together. Let's see. Couple call well. boards here to help us out. Perfect. That'll work fine. It's a little heavy on the juice. I'm going to get some squeeze out there. Okay. Clamp edge. need a call board because the warp can work to my advantage here, which it is. I've got pressure at either ends just by the stress that's in the wood itself. That's good. Sometimes you win. One more time. I think I want a call board under here. Just to keep that pressure spread evenly. some long ones, but I need them. It's the uh, plywood carcass has a little bow in it, so I got to squish the ends to take that out. Loosen this one. 
bring in the other side. sure that's even, which just about is. Good. And we got a good squeeze out. I'd like to see a little bit more there, but no more clamps. You can never have too many clamps. So that's probably all I'm going to do to that today. I could probably do a couple more things. I'm going to need to stick, uh, just like the other one, a piece of uh, poplar under there to secure it, but that'll keep till later. And I just wanted to get something done on this today. More so the smaller one <clears throat> than the bigger one. The bigger one I'm going to have some issues with. Uh, but it's nothing that the shaker framing won't hide. A lot of tear out with plywood. So, I guess that's it for now. We've got our medicine chest being glued up. I'll, again, I'll have to put in a center face frame for the doors. And the bigger one's not too far behind. It's about where the small one was yesterday. So, until we get more clamps, that's about it. There's a little shot of the dovetailing not perfect but they cleaned up okay they'll be covered up anyway so it doesn't really matter on the sides they were kind of hidden anyhow let me uh, see if I can find a position for the camera here so I can sign off let's see Well, hopefully I'm in the camera. Can you see me? Marky Mark, extraordinaire, air, air. And don't forget the routine, hit the like button, the subscribe button, leave a comment, etc., etc., etc. See you next time.